May the force be with you, unless you're a stranger. This week on Boss Battle. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 164, a show in which the writers of Insert Coin to Begin.com get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Town. But before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, what'd you play? What'd you achieve? What'd you do this week? You are muted, sir. Chachi's muted. Mario Maker, All right. Call of Duty, um, you know, the normal the normal stuff. I requested my week off for the new um, the new Call of Duty. So second week in November. Again. Yeah, second week in November I'll be off. I'll what, be gonna, wait, what are you gonna do with uh, the new Assassin's Creed coming out at the same time? So that has to wait until I get an Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So unless it's available for Wii U, which I don't think it is. It's so. time for the hard choices. It is. Okay. Um, but first, Call of Duty. Um, I'll worry about Assassin's Creed later. I'll I catch up. I got some Call of Duty news for you then later. Uh, I'll, I'll catch up. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it, though. Okay. So, what did you achieve this week? Yes, I've been playing a lot of old school games um, mm-hmm. because I, I downloaded everything on my phone before something really bad happened to my phone. Uh, and uh, so, so some Asphalt Eight. Uh, I actually downloaded a lot of classic games. had a had a very heavy night of Final Fight. Ooh. Yes, Final Fight. That one. Uh, did, did you eat a, a giant chicken? What? Did you did you eat uh, ground chicken? Yes, ground chicken. A lot of ground chicken eating. Uh, also started playing a little bit of Tomb Raider. The Street original chicken. Tomb Raider. The PlayStation 1 Tomb Raider. Oh, man, how far we've come from there. Uh, aside from that, a little bit of, uh, of Infinity Blade. Very sad because I had to do a restore, and none of my game saves showed up. So I lost progress, and it didn't even save my upgrades that I had accumulated on Pac-Man 256. That sucks. Yeah, I'm really sad about that one. So hmm. that's where I'm at, buddy. Bobby, buddy. All right. Riz, what did you achieve this week? I, you know, just like Chachi, the uh, normal suspects of um, Mario Maker and uh, Bobby, you like this. I am in Destiny now. Yay. I def- I beat both. Well, one, two of the DLCs. The third one's on the way. Um and also, I downloaded uh, for the PlayStation Network uh, free month was uh, Super Meat Boy. Oh, that's a tough game and fun, it is. fun it tough is, game. It is very rage quitty. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Other oh, yeah. than that, I have not really done too much. That That's one of the ones I sink in when I'm starting to fall asleep on the 24-hour thing. Mm-hmm. That, like, wakes me up very quickly. <laughs> right, Bobby. And, and I achieved this week, I played a lot of online games, and I actually wrote an article about it. But we'll get to that later. But I played the Star Wars Battlefront beta. Um, fun times. It was, it was fun. Um, it, it's it's very... It's Bobby, very did you make much, any new friends? Uh, no. It's it's very much like a new like a, a new PS2 game, if that makes sense to you guys. <laughs> it, it, it feels like a PlayStation 2 game, but it's not... That's, it's not it, terrible. Because you know, you know what it is you're playing, Bobby. An old PS2 game. It's a, it's a beta. I know. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, I mean that in a good way, though. It's, 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 <clears throat> it's not an in-depth shooter. You can't even like lay down in the game. Like you, you, you can only crouch basically. But it, 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 it was just a fun game. Um, and I also played Destiny. I got. I wanted to get to level twenty over the weekend, and I ended up getting to level twenty-five. So that's awesome <laughs> and i'm part way through the story so i know i don't play as much as, as you guys <laughs> so all right chachi you want to take us around the net what no i don't know i don't want to do that that sounds like a horrible right. idea that's that, seems, thing. that sounds like a horrible idea all right then we'll skip it it's not time for a video game from around the internet 
Uh, first up, someone mashed up Kendrick Lamar's uh, King Kunta with the Super Mario Brothers theme. Um, it's a minute and 35 seconds long. It's a minute and 35 seconds too long, in my opinion. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this is. I'm, I'm not even sure who Kendrick Lamar is. He's a rap person? Yeah, I, I know. I, I mean, know I, know, I, know, I know that. He's a rapster? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Well, it goes the explicit tag. Hashtag language. Um, all right. Is that enough? Hashtag, Yo, that's hashtag enough. language. Sure? That, that's sure? Is that enough? Okay. Yes. Yeah, it, uh, uh, yeah it's bad. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's a thing. Um, Hat Loving Gamer animated The Sims into a Pokemon style game. What? Um, it, it's, I mean, there's limitations in it, obviously, but it is a, a Sims style or a Sims type game using uh, Pokemon graphics, characters, etc. So, I mean, it starts with an starts out with an empty bot and trees and stuff that you have to go through. And can uh, you lock them in rooms and make them set stuff on fire? Probably. Or make them pee themselves. Yes. Did I see missing no in there? Yeah. Okay, I, 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 I was looking at it, and I'm like, that's missing now. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not bad, but I don't think I would play it. No. Um, Edward Snowden's favorite Pokemon. Yes. I, I don't think I would play that. Um, I, it just isn't the style. I mean, playing Pokemon in that style is one thing, but playing a game like The Sims is a completely different beast. So I don't think. If The Sims came out in 1995 on Game Boy. Right? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe yeah. it would have been intriguing. Yeah, maybe. I doubt it. Right. <laughs> right. Um, but, uh, and then last but not least, uh, a GTA clan called the Demons nah. um, went out, Scary. went all out with a recruitment film. Oh, man. Like a, a, wow. a full on <laughs> recruitment video for online to get people to join their uh, GTA online. That guy player. makes me want to join right now. Right. So, I, I mean, yeah, check it out. It's definitely entertaining. I would probably sign up immediately if I played the game. Just so, so I don't get killed. Yeah. Like, yes, protect me, good sir. So, That's the main character of the demons. <laughs> but, uh, oh, he's it, in it, prison. It, he's visiting. Yeah. But, uh, it, yeah, no, I mean, they uh, they did a great job with the video. So, I mm -hmm. mean, kudos to them for uh, thinking outside the box. And that is all I have for you this week in video game things from around the internet. Nah, nah, nah. Back to you, Bobby. All right. Now it's time for th some things you should be made aware of. This week, I want you to be aware of Balls of Glory. What? what? That's the name of the new pinball pack coming from Pinball FX2 uh, by publisher Zen Studios. Is this the one with... Uh... And what's in that pack, you might ask? Four new pinball tables. Mm -hmm. Family Guy. That's what I thought it was. Okay. American mm -hmm. Dad. Yes. Bob's Burgers. And the newest one announced today, Riz. Mm -hmm. Yes. Archer. I, I saw this and I immediately wanted to buy it. Yeah. Oh, this um, okay. This has got my interest. <laughs> the, the, the Cartoon 4 pack will be bundled all together and they'll be available on PCs, consoles, and the, new mobile, or the, and the, the mobile version of the game next week. Um, but the, the, the Archer video, the teaser video they posted is amazing. Like, I'm not a big fan of I, – I, I've never played the pinball FX game. I love the pinball FX games. <laughs> but this might make me convert into I it. think I have four of the marble, ta mar marble tables and um, marble? the portal table. Mm -hmm. and those are real fun. So I can't – I think I'm going to get these definitely. Especially the Archer and the Bob's Burger one. Those are fun. I, 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 I like the idea of video game pinball. I love that pinball like, still has an interest going on. And I, I love that they're they're kind of playing with this. It, it brings us back to the the, uh, the old days of the of computers, really. Mm -hmm. Remember the uh, pinball game that we had that was like pre-downloaded on Windows sometimes? Right, right. Yeah, right now the space one. And there was like an epic pinball that was a shareware <laughs> that I always got on yeah. like the Gravis controller disc, you know? 
Uh, we no, played a lot of that back in the content. day. Yeah, that free exactly. pinball game is downloadable content. On, oh yeah, oh yeah, on Windows is. now. It's it's the <laughs> default board on Pinball FX, right? Yeah. So rock and rock and ball on N- Nintendo. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty a decent game. one. It's actually pretty decent. The one that has like the Walking Dead and all and the Marvel boards and stuff. Yeah, that mm-hmm. might be the same game actually. Is, yeah, that, that, that is, is it? Yep. That is available yeah. on. Um, that is available on. Uh, on uh on like my apple fire tv which is pretty cool so oh, wow. yeah cool so you too can play the archer pinball game <laughs> all right go moving on um breaking news uh trey arc is sorry oh <laughs> of course it is <laughs> a, member of the Treyarch, a member of the trey arc pr staff had to apologize on twitter because because of an ad campaign stunt gone wrong oh what uh you- the stunt that made the Twitter account that made the Twitter account for Black Ops Three look like a breaking news source. Oh no! That claimed there was a terrorist attack in Singapore. Oh no! Oh, no. Yeah. Why uh, would you people, do that? People were confused that there may have been a real attack, only to find out it was just part of an ad campaign for Black Ops Three. Oh no! Um, they showed they, what they did was they showed the video game footage, but didn't say it was video game footage, and it looked pretty real. <laughs> and video games are so real these days. Yeah, oh, yeah. No. Um, but Jason Jason Blendle, Blendle from Treyarch went on to say it was not done maliciously or as any kind of scare tactic. He said it was done on our channel, and it was to talk about how the fiction of the world. Oh. I don't get that quote. Um, do you guys think that was handled well? No, like like that it <laughs> happened in the first place. I mean, there just yeah. needs to be a little uh, easier tempered thought making here. You know what I mean? Hey, it's like hey. Uh, what? Hey, hey, it got people watching. It got people watching, but it, still, it got, it got yeah. people looking at the graphics and saying, "Holy crap, this looks like it's real." It's well, a, they didn't so say so it was. They thing. didn't say it was graphics. They said it was like a real or they alluded they that thought, it was a terrorist attack yeah but they, you said that they they posted pictures and all that stuff right yeah yeah so basically it, it, that was a game it was, it was, yeah it was probably from the game so they're probably going oh my god oh, no seriously it's it's stupid yeah that was a dumb idea it, it, it's dumb <laughs> i can't even spin that around all right uh and other strange black ops news this year's campaign will let you play the game in any order you choose uh, the game will break from the un- or unlock or from its unlock the story as you go mode, and uh, just let you play any mission you want from the start. Um, Still multiplayer. You can, yeah, you no. Well, you can start with the last mission, which uh, gives you more of a challenge out of the gate, but also spoils the story for you. Uh, so play at your own risk. However, like in most media, it gives you the choice, uh, and if you'd like to skip ahead in the story or not, like books or movies, you know, you can skip ahead without any consequences other than knowing what's going to happen uh and other other strange black ops 3 news uh the xbox 360 and ps3 versions chachi of black ops 3 will only have multiplayer they will not feature the campaign mode i think we discussed we discussed this before yeah. didn't we? I, yeah, I, I, oh, i'm the, completely okay, okay with that okay. yeah okay. however the price um, for each of the versions will be ten dollars cheaper okay. uh, which makes us believe the campaign mode is only worth ten dollars Right, and and my whole thing was because we talked about this the week you were gone. Okay, okay. Um, that's why. Well, we, I tried to. I kept getting disconnected due to power. Um, <laughs> but uh, nature was against yeah. us that week. Yeah, yeah. yeah, my whole thing was it would stop me from delaying in playing the multiplayer mode. That's and just, true. Yeah, and just jumping in, which I'm completely okay with. I don't um, know if I'm gonna get Black Ops Three. I don't care if you guys want to or not. I'm getting it. I will play it. Well, I I have a different system than all of you guys, so you know. Right. You have yeah, fun. That's fine. <laughs> and, um, I'll, I'll still be playing Bloodborne, trying to beat it. I might have a solution for this, guys, that we could mm-hmm. work out. <laughs> oh. Check out Awesome Chat last week, and you'll find out what that was. Hmm. <clears throat> Plugs. In awesome other, cast, other, awesomecast. Awesomecast. Net. <laughs> And other, 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 other Black Ops news, Sorg has a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I have a plan. Mm-hmm. In, in, okay, and some, not sad news, but kind of, di- not disappointing news, but just kind of like, eh, news. Sad. Just um, sad. It's sad, I guess. Um, video game voice actors have decided to go on strike if Aww. need be. Uh, the strike, which was voted in favor of by 96% of the Voice Actors Guild, 
Uh, the organized voice actors are asking for royalties on games they performed in that sell over two million copies. Stunt pay for particularly stressful roles like those that where they have to yell and scream and that can do damage to their vocal cords. Really? And stunt, yeah, and stunt coordinators for certain situations, uh, among other things. Uh, the vote doesn't mean that the union will, will in fact strike, but it gives them the option to do so if the negotiations fall apart. So they, there's still some time they can they can work this out. But it's it's yeah, it's it's kind of sad. Well, and, and that's that the, that's the thing though, like. What will this affect? Remember when the writer strike happened and like, yeah, like that, lot, like everybody's season was shortened and everything, and 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 like heroes went it, tanked it because of heroes. it. It ruined heroes. It ruined, it ruined other shows. Um, <laughs> you get to Netflix, and you're like, why is there half the shows this season? I don't understand why, uh, and why they're weird. Um, we won't see an effect from this uh, probably for another year when these games that are being worked mm-hmm. on now maybe happen, and we have all the scabs in there or the. Uh, or, or the intern uh, from the third floor is playing your main character, uh, you know, and it sounds like Resident Evil One. Uh, so I, I don't know. It's interesting. Snake! Snake! It, it's it's going to be weird because, uh, as we know, uh, Jennifer Hale, um, it, female Shepherd, is one of those people in there. Mm-hmm. So I, if she's if they're a part of somehow in the in the uh, mass effect game coming out like if they're if they even have a mini, miniature part mini minuscule part in there like a easter egg or something that could really be not good to have in there imagine they, a world without troy baker yeah, oh. <laughs> or northern or, north uh, yeah, or northern north who by the way uh is a pretty good uh he is he is an awesome ghost. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't say awesome. I wouldn't say awesome. I think he's awesome. I think, think which was better. But uh, just to have – I think Will Wheaton was on there too. He's like a voice actor now. Um, mm-hmm. So all these games will have to be delayed, and that means less money coming into your po- into their pockets. That means sad times for all. Yes. Uh, but I don't think it was – yeah. But somehow Zelda and uh, – Zelda shouldn't be affected too well, too much. <laughs> Even though was... we're still waiting on that game for another probably four years. Am I not sure if the exactly Japanese are allowed to go on strike? No. Yeah. So I don't think it matters. On a side note, was I just auditioning for a voice acting role? <laughs> you were. You were. Did I get and it? You passed. Snake! Bravo. Bravo, Bobby. And C. All right. You know what? I'm happy doesn't go on strike, Sorg. Mm, what's that there, Bobby? The Pizza Workers Union of America. That's right. The fictitious Pizza <laughs> Workers Union of America <laughs> are <laughs> not, don't <laughs> have their grubby unionizing hands into our slice on Broadway. Yeah. The, uh, the the place that's uh, been, been, been uh, uh, pushing and supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with some fine pepperoni pizza here. So, yes, this is um, this is some great stuff here in, 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 in the South Hills of Pittsburgh, right along the tracks here in the Beachview neighborhood or down in Carnegie, PA. You can go check them out if you're in the area or, or if you visit Pittsburgh. They're, they're down here on the side of town from the airport. I hope that construction is done by then for you. But you can <laughs> check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com. Mm-mm, look at that stuff. Rico at the front there. Some videos to check the place out. See the pizza for yourself. Check them out on Facebook. Check them out on Instagram. And check them out PGH underscore Slice on the, uh, on the Twitters. And let them know you heard about them on the boss battle from InsertCoinToBegin.com. Now let's go see what happened last week on SorgatronMedia.com. Don't worry. No puppies were hurt in the filming of this next bit. That's your dog? Yeah. Is it a tiny little tiny dog? Yeah, it's a, it's a long hair toilet. Bring it to me. No. Why? I want to put some in my mouth. No. Why does um, my PS4 keep downloading Barbie Horse Adventure? What you're telling me is that PS4 has turned into TiVo. Yeah. yeah. Which means at some point... You're going to watch Super Redneck Trucker. <laughs> yes. It's going to be like, oh, we downloaded every episode of Queer as Folk for you. What is on Katie's face? The Galaxy Gear VR, mm-hmm. which is made by Samsung in partnership with Oculus. There's going to be a consumer version that comes out 
Um, I think this is to get developers thinking on how they can build their apps and how things work. Tell us, what is the concept? What is Looking for Group? It's a mixed co-working and gaming space. Pay by the hour to play on Xbox Ones, PlayStation 4s we use, or PCs. Asuka? Is Asuka that how we're sure. saying it? WWE's doing one thing right because Japanese pronunciation, you never pronounce the U. Okay, but it's Asuka. 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 Yeah, Asuka. I can't wait until she needs Dana Brooke in the eye and gives her a little bit of texture with her. <laughs> <laughs> How about that looking for group? What a place to play Call of Duty, huh, guys? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Looks 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 like a fun place. All right, moving on here. Uh, we're going to get into our final battle question this week. But before we do that, we have a little bit of Battlefront news. Star Wars Battlefront news. Uh, the Star Wars Battlefront beta has come and gone. Uh, today it was, it was ended at 11 o'clock a.m. R.I.P. Battlefront. Really? Yeah, it was it was fun. <laughs> while while I played it, I had some social anxiety while playing it, uh, but it was a fun experience. Uh, but the beta is over, and uh, it had over nine million players join it, uh, which was EA's biggest like beta ever. They said. Um, so hopefully that will put a lot of you know research into the game, and and hopefully they fix some of the buggy stuff that happened. Um. But uh, today, to go along with the beta's close, it was announced that new modes in Battlefront, when it goes gold and becomes a real live, real live game. Uh, oh wait, they announced content for the season pass, um, not not to be added into the, the game. Uh, but the season pass is fifty dollars. <laughs> of course it is, because why not? Um, but it's going to have four DLC packs with three new modes. Um, EA said the new DLC packs will be filled with content, and if you buy the season pass. You get access to new DLC packs uh, two weeks before they become available for everybody else. But that's only if you buy the season pass. Um, I don't know if that's worth it. Um, but anyways, the new modes are Droid, droid Run, in which players battle to capture a walking GNK power droid in the six versus six matches. Cargo, a spin on Capture the Flag gameplay. And Hero Hunt, which sounds actually awesome, uh, in which one player assumes the role of a character like Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, or Boba Fett, and fights solo against a team of seven players. I would die in that instantly. <laughs> yeah. um, Battlefront officially releases September 17th. Uh, and speaking of Battlefront, I had, I had an interesting time with it this weekend, uh, running away from people and, and trying to, to not suck at the game. Um, I didn't use a microphone. I actually found out afterwards that it didn't have any voice chat or anything anyways. <laughs> so I was kind of like cowering for nothing. But I'm like this in Destiny too. I play games. I don't have a headset on. I don't like to talk to people. I don't like to get yelled at for playing badly. I mean, it's okay when I'm with my friends. But if I'm, with, if I'm by myself sitting in a room, I don't want to be yelled at by somebody I don't know. Um, but I wrote an article about this on Insert Coin to Begin, and I got a couple um, replies on Twitter uh, when I tweeted the story out. Um, Nick Jones, lane, at Lane at 360, says if he's playing a multiplayer game with friends, uh, he likes to be in a pri – he goes into a private party by himself so he doesn't have to listen to anybody else. Um, and uh, Corey Finch, at Corey underscore Finch, said uh, he never would have thought of that doing that, but he usually just puts a headset on and puts it on mute. Mm -hmm. um, at wondering underscore geek also said uh, she does the same thing I do. Uh, she never uses a mic and she runs away from people that want to help her in Destiny, which I do too. <laughs> and Rick Hainsey from the uh, Facebook group, he said I'm in the exact same way between Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. I have no more than a dozen friends, and they are all people I know real first. Uh, he says he misses the days of four player N64 and Doom Land parties, where the people you play are right there physically in the room with you. Um, so that brings us to our final battle question here. Do you guys have any gaming anxiety when it comes to MMOs or any online game? Uh, nope. I sure. Oh, okay. Nope. Uh, well, okay. Well, well, of course, Chachi is the uh, Call of Duty master over yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, but 
I, I kind of want to ask him some questions that are related to that. Uh, but but I'm with you, Bobby. I'm the guy that goes in and says, yeah, I'm going to suck at this. And yeah. everybody else is going to just absolutely trounce me. So I kind of have many goals, right? And I, and I don't participate the right way. And even when we play together, we don't really coordinate too well, to be quite honest. No, uh, no, like we, we just go play. We just go play. Like, <laughs> but, it, we're, we're, but it's fun. We're, we're the all kind, friends. We're we don't know fun. Each other. Like, oh, that guy died. Well, he... These guys are too tough. Let's go to a different thing. You know, like I, if, Chachi, if Chachi tells me I suck at a game, I know it's in jest. <laughs> Even though I do suck at the game, I know he doesn't really, you know, right, doesn't right. mean it maliciously. Uh, the only the only game that I have trouble with for online play is Grand Theft on Grand Theft, oh, Grand yeah. Theft Auto online. I'm sorry. Like uh, I wouldn't mind doing the demons. <laughs> they like. No matter what I do, I get shot at and stuff like that. And I'm like, I just want to play a game. I just want to do free mode now. I just want to do this. I want to do that. No, you're dead. <laughs> like, and, and every time I try to do something, they are there and they you know, kill me. So I'm like, I don't want to play this anymore because they, they're going to come find me. And, and they spawn you right next mm. to where you die. Oh, so, that's, that was Battlefield. They spawn you right next to wherever everybody's shooting at you. Oh, that's good. They don't have, like, posts, like, the other... Well, they, they do, but, like, it's just... The, the map is huge, but everybody concentrates on one area, which is usually the Rebel base. That's that's every shooting game ever, yeah. Bobby. Except yeah. for Call of Duty. Yeah, except uh, for Call of Duty. Well, well the, the, the migration portion, portion of it, where everybody goes to that one spot, is also in Call of Duty as well. Mm. See Dome. Um... But that was fun. You know. It was. I'm, I'm not saying it wasn't fun. I'm just saying everybody had that one spot, and it it it's crowded there, and you want to just you know pick people off sometimes uh, with a shotgun. With All a, right. It's a long barrel. Do you say it's a shotgun with a? I, I'm gonna beat you. All right. <laughs> That's all there is to it. That one. That one was for you, Chaji. I know it was. Chuck, yeah. do, do you have any tips for us being the uh, online gamer? How not to suck? No, no. <laughs> yeah, no, pretty no. much. No, no, no. So Chachi said it. Chachi's actually put the time in, and this, that's the difference. Yeah. Is he's put yeah, the yeah. time in, and, and the problem is when you get on launch day, and these people have done open beta, so they've been playing it more than you, or they got the day one or day zero release, so they've had an extra yeah. twenty four hours on you, and they took a day off, like Chachi's going to do, and he's going to kick at even more ass to Call of Duty when he takes that week off. Now, uh, I mean, Chachi, what what anxiety do you find when you take on these online games? Here's the problem. Uh, I welcome haters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I welcome the trash talk. I, I welcome the the inbox messages in audio or text <laughs> form from these jackasses on on Xbox Live. I, 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 I remember when we got some of those too. Right, I, it's it makes me laugh. It does not bother me because ultimately, when it comes down to it, I'm okay with my station in life. I'm not. <laughs> I, I, I have a job. I have a job I like. I have friends that I get along with. I have a fiance I love. I am. I'm happy. So I, like I, I like how you said that really loud. So you know. She's sitting right next to me. It's. I have to say it loud. But it, it's. She. She's right there. Aww. But uh, it, it's. It's one of those things where I could give a shit less what some 12 year old on xbox live says <laughs> that's true yeah. because chances are <laughs> and chances are as soon as i respawn i'm blasting his ass and teabagging him so, <laughs> hey, I, I, and, I, and you guys could be Clarify right in, that in video game in the video game <laughs> it is, no, it, it's, it's, it's in video game form but um it's and maybe it is because I I'm not terrible at the game, mm -hmm. but I don't. It that stuff has never bothered me. Well, that's I, fine. I for, mean, that's fine for Chachi. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I mean, it, it, it take it's different. It's different personality types. Like right. I'm okay with it. I've always been okay with people trying to talk trash. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. <clears throat> Before we end, I do have a, a funny story from uh, our old Call of Duty playing days uh, with Mike and Bob. Mm -hmm. um, 
our friend, our friend Dave, we, we, we he's known as Dave the Redneck. Mm-hmm. Um, we had this guy play with us one time, and his name was T Rizzle, I think. And he was what? so good, and then we found out it was like this little kid <laughs> or something. No, no, no. It was, okay, it wasn't a little kid. It was just this guy who was really good at Call of Duty. So Dave left our party chat, and we're like, "Where'd Dave go?" He went into the regular chat and started reading Harry Potter to this guy. While he was <laughs> it just reminded me, like all this online talk, it reminded me of that. I would never do anything like that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I thought that was like amazing. But yeah, good times, good times. All right, any, anybody else have anything to add? Yeah, don't, just, just play more. Yeah, yeah, I do need to that's play. That's the thing. Man. That that is the thing. It's, it's, it's the time. You get good at you, you don't become a good guitarist just by picking up a guitar, right? It's like anything right. else. It's if you want to be good at Call of Duty, you put in the time to Call of Duty. Maybe you look up some tutorials, maybe you read Chachi's epic tutorial he's gonna put out here very soon. Um mm-hmm. and, 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 and and learn how to play the game. You know what I mean? I mean it, it's it's not an easy game. And sure. there's a lot of people that are better than you. So. Chachi, will you write a tutorial on how to talk to people? That could be your next one, Chach. It could be. How to be okay. social in video games. Right. And, yeah. and, but, and real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you, you guys think about it too much. That's all there is. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, like, I, I, I try to be... too much thought into these things. True. true. You just have to go out and have fun, Bobby. Yeah, oh. I need to... Strap on my dancing emoji from Destiny and just get out there and hit the world. You, you tell that five year old kid to, you know. Emo- not, not emoji. To, God damn it, I'm not getting made fun of so bad for that. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. All right. Well, I mean, take us away. Sir. That's going to do it for us this week. You can join us or you can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily. And you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Sorg, any plugs? Uh, like I said, check out that awesome chat last week with Looking for Group Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, the check out online. I had some some talks about Marvel on Universe Live, uh, some stuff on the Twitter. I'll probably put a write-up or something up somewhere. And uh, just a lot of stuff going on at SorgatronMedia.com. Please check out the new uh, the website coming soon, the SidekickMediaServices.com. If you never need any video work done, podcasting help, anything of the sorts, we're doing a lot of that stuff over there. There will be a lot of content on there real, real soon. So go follow Facebook, follow the Twitter, and uh, Sidekick, Sidekick Media Co. on Twitter, and uh, there will be a lot of fun stuff very, very soon. All right, Riz plugs. Riz plays games. I'm actually going to be putting up videos shortly, soon. For, for my Twitch at Riz Plays Games, or yeah, Riz Plays Games on Twitch, Riz Plays Games on YouTube Gaming, Riz, Riz Plays Games on YouTube, Riz Plays Games on Twitter, not on Facebook yet, not on MySpace, not on Plurk. That's pretty much it. Maybe Live <laughs> Journal someday. Are you, are you on LinkedIn? I'm not on LinkedIn. <laughs> Maybe Zanga. I'll put, uh, I'll put a site up for Zanga too. GeoCities? Uh, Geocities, live, right. ger- live journal, angel fire. angel fire. All right, Chachi, any plugs? Uh, Chachi says on the Twitter, uh, coming soon, epic how not to suck it, Call of Duty uh, guy. Uh, no, I'm I'm not kidding. That yeah. that is oh, a thing. Okay. That I, is a thing I have been working on. Awesome. Um, it is a how not to suck at Call of Duty. I, I have I read. Now. I have read your 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 pamphlet that you sent me. It, yeah, it was like I, I sent pa- Riz the the first three pages. Uh, Chris has read like the first five pages. Mm-hmm. Sorg's read a few pages. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is the thing that I've put so far. Uh, I would say uh, a month or so into. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and and the thing is, it's not a braggart way of saying it too. It's how you shouldn't be bad at video games with this one. Right. So yeah, should, it's, Bobby. it's not. So you it, shouldn't run away from people in Call of Duty. <laughs> right. Um, no, so um, probably I'm aiming for the week the new one comes out, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, coming soon. All right, and you can find me at Bobby F J Town on Twitter. Um, and I, I I posted this on my Twitter account. I'm going to post it on the Insert Coin to begin uh, Twitter account as well. Um, Extra Life is starting up. Um, our team name is Uncharted for Drake's Donations. 
Um, so if you want to donate to us uh, for Extra Life, uh, look for that. It's coming soon. Yay. And and we'll, I'll post something on the website as well. All right. Game over, everybody. Game over, yeah! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.